Hello, so this is video number one of a weave along series I'm going to post about how to do double width weaving with a single rigid heddle and two rod string heddles. I plan to post about a video a week um, and it'll probably be broken up into about five videos, maybe six if there are a lot of questions and I deem it necessary to do a final uh, Q&A video. So let's begin. Part one today is going to be crunching the numbers. Before you can begin your double width weaving project, there's a bit of math you have to do. I know math can be scary. If math makes you want to scream, know that I'm going to be typing up a post of this with a, a breakdown of how exactly to calculate that you can reference to. And that link is gonna be in the about section of this video. In any case, a little bit of number crunching at the start is going to save you a lot of potential heartache later on. And I've always believed that if you understand the why behind the number amounts and in formulas, it's easier to remember them, apply them, and adjust them as you need to. So first of all, all you have to determine the measurements you want your final project to have. In the case of this tutorial, I want to make a doll size picnic blanket for my kids. And I want the finish size to be 24 inches wide uh, by 24 inches long. In general, you don't have to calculate the fringe length you want your piece to have unless you want a really long fringe, uh, generally longer than about four inches. In my case, I want about an inch to inch and a half fringe. So I can just ignore that altogether in my calculations. So how do I figure out how wide I need to make my warp on the loom? If things are simple, I could just warp 24 inches and be done with it. But there are two things you need to take into account when determining how wide to make your warp on the loom. The first is that if you plan to wet finish your piece or wash it ever, you need to take in that, in general, most woven pieces shrink about 10% when you wash or wet finish them. Further, when you're weaving, there's about 10% drawing or tightening up of the warp threads as you weave. So that's another 10% of shrinkage you need to take into account. Again, the simple math would be to take 24 inches in my case and um, adjust for that 20% shrinkage if you think, you know, 10% when you wet finish it and 10% draw in on the loom. The problem is math doesn't work that way. And in, if you could just adjust for that 20% and how you do that, if you want to know kind of a quick shortcut is you would take the width of your final project, in which in my case is 24, and you would divide by 0.8. But that tends to make it so that you're, you're end up with, um, I'm trying to, I can't remember if it's more or less, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it tends to overestimate how wide your project needs to be. So to be as accurate as possible, um, you need to start with that, that final measurement. What do you want the finished project to be? And you have to kind of work backwards from there. So here goes. I want my final project to be 24 inches. Let me get this calculator put up here for you. So 24 inches, right? Let me just check and make sure you can see that on the um, camera. And I'm not sure how well you can, so I'm gonna kind of hold it like this. 24 inches, all right? So I need to account for 10% shrinkage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to times that 24 by 0.9. Where do I get 0 0.9? 0 0.9 is 100% minus that 10% we had before, which gives me 90, meaning that 24 inch piece I have left is 90% of what it was before I washed it. And 90% into a decimal is 0.9. So 
So that's where this is right here. X is the final amount I want the project to be width-wise divided by 0.9. So if I said multiply earlier, I apologize. You're taking the final measurement you want and dividing it by 0.9. Then you take whatever number you get from that and you divide it again by 0.9 to account for how much draw-in you're going to have on the loom. And then you press the enter button and that gives you the width you need on the loom. So let's calculate that out here. So I want 24 inches and I'm going to divide that, not times, by 0.9 and that is going to give me 26.6666666, right? Now I'm going to divide that by 0.9 again and it's going to give me the final width I need on my loom when I warp it, which is 26, or sorry, 29.629 blah, 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 blah. Now, just for, I could like sit down and calculate exactly how many holes and slots that would be exactly, but um, just to save myself some time, I'm gonna just bump that up to 30 inches to make it easy on myself. So, my width on loom needs to be 30 inches. And that would be brilliant if I had a loom that was 30 plus inches wide, but I don't. I do, however, have a 15 inch Cricut loom. And that means I could do double width on this heddle to get the, the width I need um, of the final project or, you know, 30 inches done twice, 15 plus 15 is 30. But you've got to kind of be careful because depending on the brand of loom you have, that even though it's a 15 inch loom, I may not have 15 inches of heddle to work with. So I always, always recommend that you measure out your heddle to get a good idea of what, what it actually has in store. So how do you check that? How you check it is by putting your measuring tape right here, and you're gonna measure from the outside of the, of the left side of the heddle over to the outside of the right side of the heddle. And you can see there that's a smidge more than 15. Um, that's plenty good. The other thing you could do is you could actually sit down, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera, and count how many holes your heddle has. I went ahead and did that, and this particular one has 60 holes, and so you times 60 by two to account for the fact that you'll put a thread through the hole, and then the slot, hole, slot, hole, slot, hole, slot, all the way to the end where you do one in the hole and one in the slot. When I do that, I end up with 120 ends. This is an eight dent heddle, so if I divide 120 by eight, I should get um, 15. Let me double check that my math is good there while I'm talking about it. So 120 divided by eight is, ta-da, 15. So this has enough room to do 15 inches. So again, let's use a different heddle here now. I don't have another 15 one to check, but this is a heddle by Ashford, and this is uh, branded as for a 12 inch loom. But as you can quickly see, even though it is a 12 inch loom, the amount of heddle I have to work with is way less than 12. It's really more like 11 and a little bit shy of three quarters. But it's hard to market something as 11 and a little bit shy of three quarters loom. Um, so they round it up to 12 to, to make it easy to sell, I think. Um, and also it has to do a little bit with the fact that Ashford um, is made in metric. So converting over, it's not gonna be a specific number of inches. Um, so again, check your heddles to be sure you know what you're dealing with before you assume that you have 12 inches or 15 inches worth of heddle to deal with. Okay, there's just a little bit more math to do. And if you were able to calculate this pretty good, I promise the next one isn't that much harder to calculate. So here is the next thing 
to do, which is to calculate how much yardage do I actually need of my yarn or thread. And how you calculate that is you start with the width on loom that we calculated before, which in my case is 30, and you're going to times that by the number of dents per inch your heddle has. And in my case, I'm going to be using a um, eight dent per inch heddle because I'm going to be weaving with this um, sugar and cream or maybe peaches and cream yarn. Um, it's the same. And this is type four weight yarn or number four weight, which is I think the same as like worsted weight. And this weaves up really nicely on an eight dent heddle. And I know that from sampling in the past. Um, so anyways, calculating yardage, you're gonna take the width you want on the loom, 30 inches in my case, and you're gonna times it by the dents per inch of the heddle, eight, and then you're gonna times that by the warp length you need for the final project. So my final project, like we discussed before, I want it to be 24 inches with a little bit of fringe. So the number right here, the width on loom, we can use that again to kind of calculate not only the length this way, but the length this way. So 30 inches is what we had. Then from there, I always like to add about 12 inches for waste. Um, and that waste comes from the leftover yarn that you kind of can't weave, but you kind of have to have to even get the, the thread or the yarn onto the loom and tie it onto the front and back beams. Um, so again, in that case for me, it would be 30, which is this number, plus 12 of the uh, waist. And then since my fringe is only an inch and a half, I, can, I don't have to add that because I'll have plenty in those six inches on both sides of the waist to, to get fringe. So um, that gives me 42 for this number. So let's flip this over here and kind of take a look at what we're dealing with with my particular project. So 30 times eight times 42. 36 is the number of inches in a yard. So let's calculate that out to figure out how much yarn I need for my warp threads. So we're gonna take 30 times eight times 42 divided by 36. And that gives us 280 yards. So that's how much warp thread I need to figure out how much weft thread. It's generally um, a percentage less than what you need for the warp, but I'm kind of lazy and I like to have a little bit of extra just in case. So typically what I do is I buy the same amount or calculate for the same amount as weft as warp. So in which case you just have to times this number by two and that gives me 560 yards that I'll need for my complete project with plenty left over just in case mistakes are made. So there you have it. Those are the numbers you need to um, figure out before you start your project. I need 560 yards of yarn and I'm going to need to warp the entire length of this heddle twice to get my 30 inches. So next video, I'm going to show you how to take the thread or yarn that you're gonna go out and buy and um, warp it up on the loom to get, and how to um, slay the reed for double width using only one of these bad boys and um, two rod string heddles. All right. Happy weaving, everybody.